Hi, welcome to Free Video Hub. We are starting a new series of lectures where we'll be installing all legacy operating systems which were released from Microsoft starting from Windows 2.1 to 3.1, Windows 95, 98, 2000, ME, Vista, and so on. So, uh, it's really important for the students to understand that uh, what the original operating systems look like, which were released by Microsoft, and it gives them an understanding that how the operating systems evolved over the passage of time. Now we call them legacy operating systems because they are no longer supported by Microsoft or by the latest applications. So we'll be conducting the installations using the free software of VirtualBox for virtualization. You can download it from their website virtualbox.org. Then you'll click on downloads and select the latest version of the VirtualBox and the operating system whatever you are using for windows download the windows one and for the other operating systems you can choose it from here so it's a straightforward procedure shouldn't be any issues we'll be using virtualbox and once it's installed it would look like this one you'll create a new virtual machine by clicking on this thing and then we'll write windows 2.1 and then we'll place it in any other directory other than the C drive so that we don't have any issues later. So as you can see, we have selected a different path for it. Then in this option, you'll select Windows 3.1, then press next. 32 MB is more than enough for Windows 2.1. So we'll click next, no changes here. We'll select VHD, then press next, dynamically allocated. Now, 1 GB is way too much for Windows uh, 2.1 because uh, it wasn't a huge operating system, so we don't need that much of space on the operating system. Rather, I would allocate only 20 MB of the space on my hard drive, and you'll be able to see that we can comfortably create or install the operating system on this partition of 20 MB only. Now, once that's done, uh, now we'll have to make certain changes to the operating system because at that time there were no ISO files. We used to install the operating system using floppy disks. So we have the images of the floppy disks. But let me remind you one thing again that uh, this operating system required MS-DOS to be installed on the system first. So before installing the actual operating system, we'll install MS-DOS version 6 on the computer and then from there we'll continue installing the operating system. In order to do that, we'll go to the storage and here we have an option to add the floppy disks. So we'll click on this button and then we'll add the image of the floppy disk for MS-DOS version 6 that we have saved on our computer. So we have selected the first image, then we'll choose and close. Make sure that this empty one is deleted from here. Once that's done, press OK. And now we'll start our virtual machine. Now it has loaded MS-DOS. We'll press Enter to continue. And then configure the unallocated space. It's asking to insert disk number one and then press Enter. So we have connected the disk number one and we'll press enter then here also we'll enter because the settings were perfect now it's going to install c in dos folder uh, ms dos will be installed so press enter now it's asking for disk number two um, you can press the control key on your keyboard the right hand side uh, of the keyboard and then you'll go to devices floppy disks and you'll select the disk number two, which is available in order to continue the installation. Once we have selected, then we'll press enter. And now it's asking for disk number three. Again, press the control key on the right hand side of your keyboard to release the mouse. And then you'll go to disk number three. Click again and continue. So now it's saying to remove the disk, floppy disk from the drive. So we'll go to the devices, floppy disk, and remove the disk from virtual drive. And then come here and press enter. Now press enter again, it would start MS-DOS. Now since you can see MS-DOS has been installed, and if you want to verify it, 
you can type VER over here and it would show you the version of MS-DOS. Now the next step is we'll continue installing Windows but before that we'll have to load the image files to our machine. So for that we'll go to the floppy disks again and uh, we'll choose a disk file. We'll select the first image and then we'll add all the images. There are four files for us. Now we'll choose the third file and then we'll choose the fourth file. That would help us in installing the operating system. So first of all, we'll select the disk number one and then we'll go to MS-DOS and we'll move back to a prompt, which is our floppy disk. As you can see, we are on the A drive, which is the floppy disk of our computer. If you want to see the options or the files in the floppy disk, you'll type DIR and it would show you the files which are there in the floppy disk. Now, as you can see, there is a setup.exe file. Uh, in order to run it, we'll type setup.exe and uh, there you go set a program for microsoft windows 286 version 2.1 we are going to install this operating system on our virtual machine press enter to continue um, then go to c continue with no extended memory for windows and then press enter it's going to install it on c windows directory so now we'll press enter and we'll select uh, IBM 80 or 100 percent compatible press enter no change over here and press enter now no extended memory we'll press enter again now it's asking to insert the disk again the disk number two so same procedure we'll select the image number two we'll come here again and press enter and then we don't want to install the printer so we'll continue the setup uh, you can choose the country from here but since it's for the testing purposes we'll keep it united states again it's asking for the nest disk to be connected now we'll go to floppy disk number three and we'll press enter now we'll enter the disk number four and uh, we click on it and it's installing Windows. Now it's asking to set up or modify the auto .bat file. We don't want to do it, so we'll select N and press Enter, and then enter again. Uh, again, continue without running the memsat. I'll press C and I'll continue. Now, as you can see, setup has now been completed successfully. It's saying to press Control or Delete to continue loading but before that we'll have to remove the uh, floppy disk that we have connected so we'll go over here and we'll remove the disk from virtual machine then we'll go to input and we'll select insert control or delete now once that's done it's restarting the system once that's done uh, since you know that windows was installed on c windows directory so we'll type in cd windows and it would be in the Windows directory and in order to load the Windows operating system we'll simply type win and there you go that's our latest operating system which is Windows 2.1 now as you can see there are different options in it for example uh, your mouse is here you can move them around and even if you want to resize the window you can resize the window as per your size now on the file, you can load, copy, get information, delete, and even on view, long, short, and date and time options are appearing. If you want to open the calculator, for example, if I am doing multiplication, it's showing me 36. So six multiplied by six equals 36. If I want to close it, I click on this one. Uh, we have a calendar up here where we have a slider on the right hand side we can move it up and down and uh, even the options for view day date alarm and other options are appearing on it 
Next, uh, we'll try to open card file. Uh, I think it's uh, used to keep notes and uh, you can even search the information on this one for example notes and yeah it's a sort of a notepad file but at that time they used to call it card file then I have clipboard over here I think uh, that's for the recently copied items we can check it on this one uh, there is a clock of it appearing quite interesting which we don't see it these days then in order to control the things I'll click on control.exe so here I can change the date and time and double click speed etc so that's the mouse settings also and uh, we can have separate other options appearing on this one okay then we have uh, file to convert from so it's a conversion utility and uh, then I have uh, memory set.exe oh, that's uh, for the memory testing and etc so MS DOS notepad used to be there at that time also as you can see the same options for search and uh, other options are there so this was version 2.1 and uh, you can check that it's even showing the uh, version of notepad as 1988 okay now next option is uh, paint if you click on it we have uh, just like microsoft paint and then if i click on this one or on text i can type text on it and uh, I can click on different shapes and I can draw lines then even on I can play around the different shapes on it and even the <laughs> color spray utility is there as well so character size style palettes everything Okay, then we'll go to Face Edit. I think that's uh, information editor for the programs. And then we have uh, the spooler, we have a terminal uh, to configure the switches, etc., and sessions to capture, etc. Different things are appearing on this one. exit it also then we have uh, right I think that's the older version of Microsoft Word as you can see 2.1 everything is 2.1 on this one in the search characters bold italics paragraphs left center indentation etc header footer so that's the initial version of Microsoft Word and if you want to change the path of it and you want to go back to the root you click on it and it will bring you back to the root directory so that's pretty much about our operating system which is uh, Microsoft Windows 2.1 now once uh, we have completed the installation I would really like to see that how much space Windows 2.1 has consumed so for that we'll go to file and we'll go to virtual media manager and then we'll click on windows 2.1 and here as you can see the actual size that we allocated for that partition was 20 mb and it's appearing here also as 20 mb whereas it has consumed only 8 mb of space on our hard disk so it was possible to install it even on 10 mb partition uh, which was a very light operating system at that time and uh, uh, That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much